Today I woke up at 6 a.m. Did I want to wake up that early? No. I actually went to bed at 2 a.m. So... The message was clear. It was a baby sparrow who was hungry and desperately calling her mom. I just wish she wouldn't have done it right by my window. But that's not the point. The point is the whole process and what she did somehow reminded me of a concept in wireless networking, which is called active scanning. When a wireless client station like a laptop, tablet, or cell phone wants to connect to a Wi-Fi, first it's going to scan the area for the available access points and wireless routers, and then it will decide on which one it should connect to. There are two methods they can use for this purpose. The first one is called passive scanning. In this method, the wireless client is going to start listening for beacons from the access points in the area. Beacons are management frames that are sent continuously from the access points to let the clients know of their existence. They contain some information regarding the wireless network, including the SSID name, channel information, data rates, and more. The client is going to choose the access point with the right SSID name. And in case there are multiple access points with the same SSID, it will choose the one with the stronger signal. The second method is called active scanning. In this method, instead of listening, the client is going to actively search by sending probe request frames on all its available channels. It can either specify what SSID it's looking for or search for all the available SSIDs that are being offered by the access points around. If there is a specific SSID, then only the access points with the same SSID are going to respond with a probe response frame. If the SSID field is set to null, then all the access points within the client's proximity are going to respond. The probe response frame is very similar to a beacon frame, and it contains all the necessary information that the client requires to know before it can join the network. Afterwards, there's going to be an authentication step, followed by an association step. Only then they can start transferring data. Cute, right? It would be funny if the animals are actually learning from us. Networking, wireless networking. <laughs> huh?